This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate an alpha level. This yellow area here is a rejection region and it is expressed with an alpha level. The alpha level is related to a confidence level and it's chosen by you or it might be given to you in a question. So confidence levels are usually 98%, 95%, or 90%. So how to calculate the alpha level? Well, you start with 100%, subtract your confidence level. For example, a confidence level of 98%, subtract that from 100%, and you get 2%, which is your alpha level. What this means is the entire area under the curve is 100%. This area this white area is 98% and this little yellow area here is 2%. A confidence level of 95% has an alpha level of 5% and a confidence level of 90% has an alpha level of 10%. So this is for a one tail test. What happens when you have two tails? Well, these percentages are going to be divided into two because if I have 98% in the center and if I have two tails now, the two tails are equal, so there's going to be 1% here and 1% on the other side. So for a two tail test, my alpha level is 1%. For a 95% confidence level, two tails, it's going to be 2.5%. And for a 90% confidence level and two tails, it's going to be 5%. Now I've written the alpha levels here as percentages. However, it's usual to write them as decimals. For example, you would write an alpha level of 5% as 0.05. I use percentages here as it's easier to understand what a percentage of a curve is as opposed to just saying 0.05. That's how to calculate alpha levels. Check us out at statisticshowto.com for more videos and articles on everything elementary statistics.